Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tanya. Today I have a wonderful Dollar Tree DIY video creating vintage Christmas bells. Let's go ahead and jump into the first one. In this design, I'm going to be creating the vintage hanging bells. And what you're going to need for this is a pack of those little shot glasses from Dollar Tree and some of the Christmas ornaments. I took the tips off of those and I'm going to glue those right onto those little shot glasses. Now in this particular design, I'm going to take that matte colored uh, just acrylic paint and some of the pure gold. and these little bells were so fun to create and I love how high in these look and I think you're really going to enjoy all of the bells that I've created today. Now once I got the white paint on there, I just wanted to dab really thick layers of that gold on there and then we're going to be taking another color and kind of dragging it through. And where the cups are plastic, I really wanted to build a lot of layers of the paint. And now I took some of that... Um, I think it's called Black Flash, and I'm just gonna dab that on there, dry these really, really well, and then I'm just gonna take little dowel rods and glue right in the center, and we're gonna be painting that part uh, with that dark um, black flesh also. And everyone, these made such a pretty little design. I'm actually creating all the bells today for my daughter's fireplace area. And wait till the end, I hope you stick around for that. I've got a little video of where I've got it displayed on the wall. And once I get it down to my daughter's, I will take a video of it displayed on her fireplace also. Now you can see I'm just gonna tie some of the little rope twine that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And most all the items I used today were from Dollar Tree. Now I did have that little sprig in my craft uh, box that I used. I think I might've picked that one up at Walmart, but of course they have some similar to that at Dollar Tree. And what I did is just made different lengths of strings because I wanted these bells to just hang really pretty at different levels. And then I'm just gonna tie my rope really tight with some little pieces right around the edges just to kind of make a little bit of a design going up. And you can twist this, you could braid this if you wanted to, but I decided just to tie little sections off and then you'll see I'm gonna make that little loop at the top and then I'm just gonna tie on my little bit of greenery. And this really made a beautiful little bell swag is really what this is. But everyone, I had so much fun with these bells and I've been trying to keep my decor kind of in the neutral palette. And of course, I've been doing just little dabs of the woodlands. I still got up some thrift store makeovers coming up, hopefully midweek for you. And it'll go along with this theme. And I'm going to try to do some filming of some tablescapes that we may do at my daughter's too. So hopefully I can get that done for you. But you can see I just twisted my rope right around there. And look how beautiful this is hanging on the wall. And all of these uh, bells today are gonna be made out of the plastic cups from Dollar Tree. So I hope this video gives you lots of inspiration. I know I really enjoyed creating these. The next one is the Vintage Bell Wall Art. Now I did have my birch log that I picked up and I actually got that uh, probably a couple months ago from Hobby Lobby, but you could use a twig just the same. And then those little wood pieces and the wire I actually had in my my craft box but these were the wine glasses and I took the bottom off and I'm just gonna glue that dowel rod down in there and you really put a lot of glue in there because all this is gonna be painted over anyway and then I glued that little wood piece on top you could even use a little pop bottle cap for this anything to just get that look of a little handle like on top there and I just love how these turned out, everyone. So I hope you stick around to see all of them. And here's that black flash. This is one of my favorite colors that I love to use. Now this one, I really wanted it to be rich in the color tone. So I wanted to go ahead and apply this on right over that sandstone chalk paint. 
and I've covered this really well and then I'm gonna be blending in some of the pure gold and just dabbing that on there just to get that contrast on these bells. But I did these a little different, each one of them, and just to give you some different ideas how you could uh, get the results that I got with this. And just keep dabbing until you get the desired look that you want to see. And you can see how pretty these are turning out. And I love how they have that real rugged kind of vintage look. Now, I decided to mix just some of that matte white with some of that pure gold. And that was just to dab just a little bit of highlights. And I knew once this dried, it would dry in a little bit darker. And... They just turned out so pretty. And I love this wall hanging. This, um, my daughter is gonna put above her fireplace. And I think this is gonna look so pretty. I actually picked up that wire. I think it was at a flea market, but you could just very easily rust some wire or just paint it with some uh, darker uh, brown paint or even black. And of course, I'm just gonna tie on some of the rope twine that I picked up, like I said, at Dollar Tree. And I just wanna make a little hanger on this uh, birch log here to hang up on the wall. And then I decided to take my little bells and I'm gonna be hanging those at different levels also. And I have always enjoyed these little bell wall hangings. So you'll have to let me know what you think of those in the comments below. I know they're one of my favorites. But while we're watching this, everyone, I will say, don't forget to go check me out on TikTok. I have been putting some little updates on there and you'll find a link to that in the description below and of course you can always follow me on Instagram I've been a little more active on TikTok lately so you may want to pop over there and also if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that subscribe button I'm going to be doing a lot of winter decor I really get busy around this time of the year so I'm kind of uh, hit and miss you'll notice on a lot of my Christmas decor but once Christmas is over I really go into the winter decor is actually my favorite winter decor is so there'll be a lot coming up with that I love the neutral color palettes that I can use for the winter decor and I just love that theme that you can carry all the way through spring but everyone back to our little hanging bells um, look how this looks displayed on the wall and I think my daughter is going to be very happy with this little wall art piece and once those bells dried, you can see all the different color tones. And I think they turned out beautiful. And I hope you do also. For our next one, we're just going to do these three little hanging bells. And I'm going to be using those wine glasses again. These are actually some little chess pieces that I had picked up out of a little game. And I thought these would make really neat little tops for these bells. And... They turned out really cute, and I really, really enjoyed um, how these look. And these I might keep. I don't know. If my daughter doesn't use these, I think I'm going to keep these. But I went ahead and painted these with some ivory paint. And the reason why I was doing all the different color tones is I just wanted a little bit of variation in the bells. I'm going to use that Waverly Wax, some of that Glam Gold on this, and then also some of the Antique Gold. And here's another technique that you can use to get this look on these bells. I'm just going to pour all three of these colors out onto my uh, plate. I love these little plates, by the way. Uh, they have these at Dollar Tree and they're perfect for the painting um, and just, just the right size. And you can see what I'm doing. I'm dabbing my little sponge into little corners of each one of the paints. And this is so quick and easy, everyone. And look how beautiful it turns out. So this is definitely one of the faster ways to get that antique uh, vintage look on your bells. And I just kept dabbing this on till I got the desired look that I wanted to see. And then I very lightly took some of that black flash and just did little nicks all over just to look like the bell had the little tiny nicks on it. And I think these turned out really pretty. I did seal all of these, everyone, uh, with the Mod Podge, the matte Mod Podge, by the way. I didn't show that on a couple of them. And the same thing here, just did some different levels on the strings and just tied these up real pretty and made a little loop. I decided not to put some greenery on these. I just wanted to leave these simple and just 
just hang them on the wall because I thought these would be pretty just hanging on a door or you could even just have these kind of laid out maybe on a table or just hanging off of some books. There's several different things, but I wanted to hang these up and show you just how pretty and aged and vintage these three little bells turned out. And I did put that tiny little skewer right up there in the center of those. Now for our next one, we're gonna just create these little bell shelf sitters. And I did the same thing. I decided to use some of those little wine glasses and some of the bigger pieces of the chess piece. And I went ahead and dusted these once again with that ivy um, chalk paint. And then just doing a little bit different technique, just trying out different uh, ways to apply all of the different colors to get different looks and I just thought you might enjoy seeing all the different techniques that I use. Decided to add the black flash to the top and just give that a little bit of a contrast on this one because I knew I was going to be decorating these with just a little bit of greenery and berries but I have really enjoyed creating these. Everyone, I hope you're still with me and if you are, Pop one of those little bells in the comments below and let me know that you're here and you're still enjoying our uh, vintage uh, bell series today. Now I did get those little pine cones at Dollar Tree. I think I picked those up last year. And I, these white berries, I think I had those in my craft stash. I'm not sure if they were from Dollar Tree or Walmart, but I know they have something similar there at Dollar Tree. And here are our little shelf sitter bells, and I thought they turned out really pretty also. Well, everyone, there is all of our bells displayed for you, and I hope you did enjoy this today. And if so, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That really does help my channel and helps other people get to see my videos and also if you haven't already subscribed i hope that you enjoy what you see here today and you will consider doing so and don't forget to follow me over there on TikTok and maybe say hello on instagram and everyone i hope you have a wonderful and blessed week and i will see you on the next one